In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to show you some tips on using the Enhanced AI Body Shaper tool. Sometimes we want to mess with the human anatomy a little bit, and this is supposed to be a quick way to do it. What are its pluses? What are its limitations? So we're going to look at this picture, and to get to the tool, I click on the Edit button in the upper right, and from the drop-down, I choose Guide It. And then on the left side, in the People Beautifier category, the second option down is Body Shaper, and mine has the little AI symbol on it to show it's been changed or improved. We'll click on that, and immediately it will begin to analyze the photograph. It takes the photograph in its full screen, no matter how I've enlarged it before, and it will give me all these sliders. Now, these are different areas that it thinks it's identified on the human anatomy. The issue I run to it is that sometimes it gets them right, and sometimes it seems to be off by a number of pixels. Let's see how that works. Let's look at leg width. If I move to the right on this slider, the leg should be wider, left narrower. I move to the right a bit, you notice it's got the legs wider, but it seems to get the lower hip area too on this particular photograph because of the angle of the camera. Remember, no two people are the same and no two camera angles are normally exactly alike. Let's look at leg length. When I click that and drag that to the right, it will lengthen the leg and also any other pixels in that area. The width of the hips, let's try that one. Now it seemed like it picked a little higher than normal on the hips on this gentleman, but that's where you can narrow or widen it. Let's look at waist thickness. There's a thicker waist. Again, I think it might be a bit high, but it's not too bad. Arm thickness. It seems to do a good job on the arms, and it does work best when you're looking at your subject directly into the camera. Let's try shoulders. Okay, there's a wider shoulder. Let's try chest or breast area. Okay, and the entire body width you can also modify. Again, it will include the background so as not to distort everything. Let's look at a before and after. Here's an after, there's a before, and there's a sample. Let's look at some other photographs because it will vary a lot depending on the one you use. I'm going to get back to my library and let's click another photo. Let's take three guys and click on the edit, go to guide it again and move to the body shaper. We'll analyze the image. Interesting. In this case, it says it could not detect people. So it is limited. Normally this guy alone would, would work, but when we get these three guys together, the AI tool can't figure out what to use. If they were all three facing me, it would probably be different. Let's do another one. Let's try a different photograph. Let's try this gal at a slight angle and see if this works. So I'm going to go to Edit, Guide It, and go over to my Body Shaper. It will work. Let's see how the AI does on this one. Ah, all the sliders are populated. None of them are grayed out. If we try, try to change the leg width, we see that does a decent enlargement or reduction. Let's try the length. Here I wouldn't want her any longer, but it does seem to work. But you notice it moves the whole bottom half of the body up a little bit as well as down. Let's try the hips. In this case, it seems a little low, but it also widens and raises that area of the anatomy. Waist. Okay, there's thicker and thinner. That didn't do a bad job there. Arms. Now here it doesn't do a good job because she's not full front on, but it does tend to enlarge or reduce the right arm a little bit. Does nothing with the left. Uh, chest or breast area. Uh, here it doesn't seem to guess it very well. So uh, I would probably not use that on this particular photo. Shoulder width. Here it's moving the left one, not, not much noticeable change on the right. Body width makes it wider, but it almost feels like it's detaching the head. So we'll go back to another photo and see how that works without changing this. Let's go to this profile here, and we'll go to our guided edit, and go to body shaper again. 
it's going to take the entire photo and it couldn't find her. Let me go back to fit here. Even though there's no other elements in the picture besides the gal, it still could not find her. Again, a profile doesn't work as well as a full face on. Let's try a couple more. Let's go back to our library tools and all our photos and see what we can do with this gal here. And we go to the guided menu and do the body shaper. Now this is probably one of the best options of all the pictures we've looked at. It's full, it's full straight on and it's pretty proportional left and right. Let's see how well it does. Let's change the width of her legs. I'll make them wider. That seems to do a modestly decent job. How about the length? Again, it, it lowers them, but it also raises another part of her body. So there's more leg in proportion to the rest of the picture. Width of hips. Again, it does raise, but it does widen too. You notice it's changing her wrist size. Waist. Okay, there's thicker and somewhat thinner. Arm thickness. Again, it seems to do the arms pretty well in most of these. Chest or breast area. There's an enlarged and there's a reduced. Shoulder width. Let's drag to the right. Okay, that seems to catch it pretty well in the entire body. In this case, you can make it a little narrower or a little wider. So photographs like this are probably the best in which to use these tools. This is something you can use carefully, but you can actually use it also if you don't have a full body shot. Let's look at one of those. We'll take this guy here and we'll go to our tool and use the body shaper. In this particular case, you notice here I only have two sliders that are lit. The others are grayed out. It did find what it think were these two areas. Let's widen his shoulders. We could do that. And we can widen or narrow his body in proportion to that as well. So you don't have to have a full head to toe picture in order to use the tool. It's somewhat limited because all the sliders are a bit generic and every human being and every camera angle is slightly different. It's got a ways to go to, to really be able to pinpoint those areas, I think, most accurately for modification. Uh, you still have the other tools that you can use, the distortion tools, mesh tools, and manual mesh, which we have tutorials on. They are great for fine-tuning in any case. These would be my probably my go-to tools. I want to edit something really quick and really fast and not too much with the less time investment as possible. These tools in the AI body shaper might be useful in that kind of scenario.